should be off camera. What's up guys? Welcome back to Quake Combat. It has been maybe like nearly a year since I posted a video. I can't really say I've been busy anymore because that's a lie, but we're going to teach some techniques because uh, we're in quarantine uh, at the UFC hotel. Uh, obviously everybody knows my fight got cancelled due to me not having COVID. Poor Frank. Some people near us had COVID. So as a precaution, they decided to cancel me and Gregor on the day, which was the worst feeling I've ever had in my life. But we we'll swallowed that pill and we're moving on. We're gonna rematch in June. I'm not sure if Gregor, maybe with someone else and then get Gregor after, but I will I will fight Gregor guys. I know he wants to see that, so don't worry. Anyways, today we're gonna to look at something that Israel just did with um, yarn and we've all done it in the past before. It's just um, if my fake isn't working uh, too well, I can uh, jab the lead hand to get a bit of reaction. So if I'm, uh, if I'm facing an opponent like I am here with Frank and um, I'm faking and it's not really drawing a reaction like we're out of range and he feels like, I don't know, maybe, the re maybe he is reacting inside but he's not showing me anything. So I'm a little bit worried about going in and attacking in case he's lining something up. So I'm faking, I'm faking, and he's not doing anything. He might feel like I'm too far away, so what I can do is I can jab his lead hand because you know, I actually get closer, and I have to physically touch him, and physically touching him and me getting him that close could make him react, so. But the thing is, I'm still gonna be out of range. I'm just gonna be pulling my weight forwards a little bit over my lead leg, and extending myself and going boom, and jabbing his lead hand so that if he did react, obviously if I jab the lead hand and I step in and he reacts, I can get punched by him. For instance, so I step in the jab and he just throws it too. Boom, oh, this could happen, right? So I'm trying to avoid that. So that's why I start at my distance hand to hand. I'm just gonna lean forwards like this. His hand can be here. You just adjust yourself where, wherever his hand is. You might have to creep your forward forward a little bit. I'm gonna stand here. I'm just gonna lean forwards and go boom and get his lead hand like that. And that might make him react. So with the reaction, he might throw that too again, but I'm gonna be out of range, right? And I'm here, and then I can capitalize on that and go again afterwards. So this is a really good thing to use instead of the fakes, which you guys can see in my previous videos. You know, I've taught all the, like a few different ways to fake, not all the ways. Um, so this is just another really useful thing. So what Israel did against Yarn is, I'm pretty sure he was holding his fist like this. Some people seem to think he had a sore hand, but sometimes he just does this. He just does what comes to him in fights, and for some reason that felt comfortable that fight. And then he's looking at those, he's giving a look, and Yarn's not doing too much, and he just goes, Boom. I've also done it in the past against uh, wrestlers. I've, uh, I've actually done a video on this in my YouTube. I've jabbed the lead hand to force out the shot because they feel like the jazz is coming for the head and I'm getting quite close, so they duck down and shoot. However, I'm still out of range, so I just lean back and boom, I put the hand down on post, frame, or I swap it. So I'll show you how that goes on again. So I'm out of range. Frank's pick a little bit more. We're here. I've been faking, I'm moving around, and He's not reacting, so I just go and jab the lead hand. I might step a little bit, but I'm not stepping into range. I'm still miles away. I'm just jabbing that lead hand. And then I go back again. If I jab that lead hand and he doesn't react, boom, boom, just follow it up. Follow it up for whatever you want. So yeah, that's our technique today. And I managed to do that all in one cut. That's pretty good. Don't have to cut, cut that up. So. Yeah, like I said, guys, I'm going to be posting videos regularly this week. Um, we're going to film something every day. Frank's going to grace us with some wrestling knowledge. Uh, we'll try to teach them all in our really tight new freestyle fighting uh, jerseys here that Joe's given us and told me this was a large, but it's clearly an extra small because I just can't wait, so I'm not that big. And, uh, yeah, make sure you guys leave some comments below what, what you guys want me to teach because i got a lot of spare time this week. Uh, we're just waiting around for Shane and Jamie to fight. Um, touch wood that everything goes ahead as scheduled and they get to fight and yeah and then I'll be back in New Zealand soon and back in the cage as soon as I can.
koi kea 